Hello, I am wildly excited for this video because finally I'm taking a day to just go to all the home stores and like trip and fall and stumble upon some pieces for this house. Um, so let's go, we're gonna have so much fun today. I truly have been waiting for this but I haven't had like a lazy Sunday to be able to like block off to do all this house stuff, you know what I mean? But the house, okay, here's the thing. So the house is like, furnished right and it's kind of decorated but for some reason like when i walk around in here it just feels so incomplete and it's been pissing me off like i just feel like so many things are just unfinished and i don't know i'm the type of person where if i'm going to start something like i just want it to be done as soon as possible so i can just move on to the next thing and i hate when things kind of like drag out so today i want to like finish this house you know what i mean there's like a million things that I feel like it need to be done. So today we're gonna do a massive, just like get everything. So I'm excited. I love making home videos. It's an HGTV moment. And I know you love to watch them. So let's get into it. You never know what you're gonna stumble upon. Ugh, I'm burping. It's all the sparkling water. I told Danny to wait to tell me all this on camera because I wanted you to be a part of the conversation. You know, give your input, your thoughts. Mm -hmm. So he has a lot of ideas for this house and he has not expressed them to me yet. So boy, where should I put the camera down so you can pop off right there? No, you know you have lots of plans. No, it's a little stuff, baby. We just gotta put something here. We gotta switch these chairs. New lights over here, larger plants. That one has to be a statement piece. And yes. the other one has to be like a ceiling toucher. Yes. It's gotta be a big thing to emphasize the ceilings. We also have to put uh, some books down there a little Whoa. basket with like Lua's toys Aww. to make it cozy. Like know? we have the furniture behind the couch, but see how like empty it is? Like this house is giving me like staged vibes. You know what I mean? We need personality. It looks a little like Airbnb-ish yes. vibes. Like it's not completely done, but it's cause it's not. And we've only been here, you know, we got the big pieces. We're gonna switch some things out. Like these chairs that I think need switching. I think with a lot of paintings, with the gallery wall in black and white. Yes, we're gonna do a gallery wall. That oh, I, did, I didn't order the picture frames. Okay, we just gotta order them and then print out all the stuff. So yeah, today's gonna be a fantastic day. I truly also popped off with my makeup. I just want you to appreciate it. I don't know if I fell and hit my head overnight, but I randomly became a fucking makeup artist and now my makeup comes out good. So stay tuned, I guess I'll make a video on. What'd you do differently in one word? Everything. <laughs> I did everything differently. I copied what my makeup artist does. Mm -hmm. Or I tried to at least. Let's get this show on the road. Oh my God, right on time and right on theme for this video. We just got a delivery. Um, It's not the cutest thing, I will be honest. It's an outside fan, but it's the most functional. I got a massive fan for the outside. Oh, today we need to buy an outdoor TV. Let's find out, come on. Okay, so uh, we have like the perfect spot for an outdoor TV. I feel like Henny and I, both of us, like we kind of just like delay big purchases. You especially, but like, I don't know, like the thought of buying another TV when I just bought one, I'm like, it can wait. So yeah, we have a spot for a TV right here and we have like the outdoor moment, but like, wait, what did you just do? Your wingspan's usually your height. So if I'm six feet, this, my wingspan should be around six feet, which is 72 inches. So this to this would be a 72 inch TV. Yeah, just roughly around what we need, 70 ish. That's like a good size. Yeah, you made fun of me for the calculation, and then you said, oh, it makes sense. Yeah, no, that does make sense. But my vision for the outdoor TV is like when there's games on, watch it outside. Now we're gonna have like 70 degree weather throughout the year. So it's, so we're just gonna be hanging out here with Lula so much that a cool TV here for like little movies or games and stuff. A yeah. movie outside. Yeah, just kick it out here. That would be so romantic. Let's go. Anyways, um, I'm sure you're all wondering where my jewelry is from because it is so cute. All of my jewelry is from Roxbox. Roxbox is a try before you buy jewelry membership and you pay 21 bucks a month and you get a personal online stylist. So you take like a little quiz, you answer questions about yourself and every month they pick three things for you to like try them. And if you love them, you buy them and the $21 that you paid goes to that like it applies and shipping is really easy and the jewelry is always so cute like I love every month getting my three little things like this to me really just popped off and they have new packaging which is exciting I feel like you've seen me talk about rocks box for probably like a year and a half at this point because I just live for them I even got this 
which is so cute. I'm not sure if it's a necklace that like you put or if it's a bracelet that you wrap around twice and it's a little bracelet. I don't know. They also just launched a rewards program. So every time you buy a piece, you're working towards getting more future discounts and special promotions. Also, I'm realizing that my tie-dye shirt goes so well with the sky. Are you kidding? We're the aesthetic right now. I'm, I'm snapping. I have a discount code for you to enjoy. It is Lauren XOXO and you get your first month free. So enjoy again, that's Lauren XOXO. And their pieces are always just so cute. Like, ugh, they are so cute. Um, I did something, I did something. I was thinking about it for a long time, for years. And I finally did it. Um, I got a new car. I basically got the larger version of my old car, which I loved. So I used to have the Model 3 and I have the Model X. And I feel like a hot soccer mom in this thing. Cause it's low key like a minivan, but anyways, I'm very grateful for it. Because two years ago when I got my Model 3, a year ago? It's so like a year and a half ago when we went to Tesla, I wanted the Model X, um, but I was very overwhelmed with the payments. I was like, yo, I do not want to sign myself up for that. And like commit myself to those payments cause they seemed like very, overwhelming but now i feel comfortable and it's a huge milestone for me because it means that i'm like working hard and i'm like you know thriving and i'm just very proud of myself there's a huge milestone for me so yeah okay let's go i'm hungry i know ugh, i don't know how to work this car yet imagine i crash all of our cars on camera that would be a divorce okay so we just got to like the hub of where we're gonna get all our inspiration and hopefully a couple things so in this shopping center we have west elm CB2, restoration hardware. Now, our game plan for restoration... Is to take pictures. <laughs> is to take pictures because everything is so expensive there, so we're gonna go take pictures and get inspired because if it's, if restoration is selling it, then it's beautiful, so if we can find a dupe somewhere, that's the game plan. But anyways, let's go because I'm so excited. These are like my favorite kinds of days. Home days! Home day. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so I found these chairs at West Elm. I like that they're dainty and I like that they're round because they would complement the round table because these chairs are what we currently have and our friend told us that they look like the chairs in grandma's apartment in Columbia, which I don't know how we knew, but that's exactly what they look like. So we're gonna change those. Saw a bunch of cute things throughout the day actually and got really inspired. I wanna do a whole bunch of planners in the backyard and stuff. Also, this lamp is gonna be switched out above our breakfast nook because this black one right here, just isn't really doing it for me and I feel like this white one would brighten up the space. This is us at Restoration Hardware, which look at the outdoor dining table. It's literally probably a million dollars, but so cute. So we took our inspo from there. Like, look at this statement piece. And the outdoor furniture just really had my heart going. One day, one day I will get this stuff. But for now, I'm inspired, girl. Um, Restoration Hardware is great strictly for inspiration, but some things that we're getting inspired from right now is these massive planters. I'm sure here they're like a million dollars, but I'm sure we can find a dupe somewhere. We're thinking maybe like in the entrance of our house, like before you walk in, it'd be cool to have like these massive things and give it like that resort vibe. This is what it feels like to be actually rich. Like spending $20,000 on a couch. The, we're sitting on the cloud couch right now. We have the replica at home, but this one is $20,000 and you could feel it. Like when you sit on this, my ass feels rich. Okay, I'm very proud of this find. I just found it. I found this beautiful girl, and guess how much? $14.99. So I don't know if she's gonna be an entry piece or a bathroom piece, or if she's gonna be on the floor. How does David Dobrik shit not shake? I don't know. I think he does it like this and just stops giving a fuck. Why is it so good catch? We did a lot of good things. I will tell you all about them. Also, I'm very proud of my outfit today, so I know, but I just feel like a cool person. So, look at her. Ugh, she's so thorny. Got name, attitude. Let's name her Bella. I don't know, oh, we didn't even film this, but um, we bought this table at CB2, and like I said, we've been buying all the pieces, but it hasn't been really feeling homey because we're not like completing it. So like we have this beautiful coffee table, but it's just kind of there. We needed to add like the finishing touches that make it really feel homey. Look at that butt shake. This girl shakes her butt. Also, this being 30 bucks, 
Yeah, I was uh, not expecting it to be 30 bucks. Lua wanted to make a cameo. Isn't she getting so big? I can't believe that this girl is massive already. I just touched her butt and there was pee on it. So I'm just gonna wipe it on her. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Let me show you what it looks like so far. Just give me a second and you'll see the full vision. I promise. Ooh, this is gonna look so good. Not doing too much. We could change it as time goes. I like it, because we were thinking of like a tray for here. But I don't know, I just like the simplistic vibe that we took. I also like that it's black and white. Oh, I hope that works there, because it looks so good. Uh, I don't know, because I feel like when the door opens... Okay, I'm thinking of doing something to... Like sticks? Yeah. So basically the plant that we had at our entryway was this girl. But to be honest, she was a bit underwhelming. Like for an entryway, I feel like an entryway should be a little bit more drama. So now we have a dramatic queen. We just need to figure out how to make her grow straight, but we got it. So I got this like stool, I guess you call it, at Target. And I just fell in love with it when I saw it at Target, but then I was like, what kind of plant goes on it? And I made the mistake of putting a dangly plant on this and then somebody was like, no, you need to put a plant that grows upwards because that's what makes the most sense. So we shall see. So they did not get a pot for her, so if she works, wow. I kind of love it. I think that's beautiful and then I feel like I'm filming something here. That's a pretty, I don't know. Maybe the pot's throwing me off. Okay, so I think I'm about to blow your mind or I hope I'm about to blow your mind but Henny and I got inspired at Restoration Hardware with this centerpiece that's probably so expensive over there. So we took a picture and now we are about to recreate it on the low low. We bought a bunch of moss and we're gonna fill up this thing and hopefully it looks lavish. Not us absolutely killing it. I'm proud of it and like the reason I'm happy it's because now we have more little things that like are little personal touches that we did together, which makes it cute and homey, yeah. We're having like the most perfect night. Um, I'm playing fetch with Lua and she is running back and forth. We just got her a new ball and it squeaks and she is living. And then we're also grilling some food. Honestly, grilling while hanging out with your dog is the vibe. So we're having a lot of fun. There's also one storm. Yeah, there's also a windstorm, which is nice. Um, but the weather here has been so beautiful. Also putting a lot of butter on the steak, so it's gonna be fine. Where's your ball? Where's your ball, girl? We gotta figure out the lighting system out here because I need to vlog at night. Like, nothing is really lit up here, but you know. The thing about a house is that the project never ends. You think you're making all this progress, and then there's like, oh, there's like five more things I need to do. We're also enjoying a glass of wine tonight. And then we're gonna watch the boys. Perfect night, huh? Perfect day, Sunday. Perfect Sunday. Perfect we live for day. these like slow ass, yep. home involved, like cooking, hanging out with a like dog. It's the best. Where's your wine? It's inside. Lame. So this is what having a house is like. You think you're making all this progress when you go shopping and then you find out that you still have like a million things that you need left and you kind of never really finish the project but i guess that's just how it is thank you for hanging out with me in this video and i look forward to hanging out with you in the next one you also might as well subscribe because i know you've watched a bunch of my videos already so you you might as well bye